So Apple have finally fixed one of the biggest issues plaguing Mac gamers with the Mac App Store. So the second beta of macOS Sequoia has just been released to developers and hidden within the beta release notes, there's a brand new feature or should I say bug fix, which is that starting in macOS 15, the App Store no longer requires twice the space free for an initial app download and install. The free space requirement will now be the final size of the app plus a small buffer. So this fixes a pretty huge issue for the Mac App Store, which is when you try to download a large game, even if you have enough storage space, it'll say unable to download app. That's because the Mac App Store required more than double the amount of storage space to download or even purchase a game from the App Store. However, in the new macOS Sequoia Beta 2 update, this has been fixed. My solid state drive only has 54 gigabytes of space and I'm trying to download a 34 gigabyte game. And previous versions of macOS would not let us download this, but the new update on macOS Sequoia Beta 2 now now fixes this problem. And this couldn't have come at a better time, as Mac games on the App Store are getting bigger and bigger, games like Death Stranding are 76 gigabytes in size, and you would have easily needed over 150 gigabytes to even download or purchase this game from the Mac App Store. And this is a relief because Apple is still selling 256 gigabyte solid state drives as their base tier of Mac, and before this new Mac App Store fix it would have been basically impossible to download these games using only that tiny solid state drive. And this fix is very welcome, as there are going to be tons of triple a games coming to the mac app store in the very near future for example we're going to be getting a mac port of dead island 2 a game which requires 70 gigabytes of free space and also the future mac port of robocop rogue city is going to require 51 gigabytes of space and basically games are getting bigger and bigger over time and it's a relief that the mac app store has finally implemented this fix and it makes it possible to actually download these games on base spec macs as well and the mac app store isn't exactly perfect we still cannot download games to external solid state drives which is a real shame and we also haven't seen huge differences in download speeds for these large games either however it is a step in the right direction if you want to make use of this fix then you're gonna have to wait until macOS Sequoia releases or you try out the beta yourself and also leave a link in the description for my own workaround for installing games on external drives anyway I hope you found this video interesting let me know what you think in the comments thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one